the city's biggest attractions came to a virtual standstill over the weekend, all closed because of security concerns. Disneyland Paris remains closed until Tuesday. Hotel operators are bracing to absorb the cost of canceled trips and shortened stays. Several musicians have already canceled or postponed their concerts. And going back to work after a national tragedy can be overwhelming. But many in France are trying to get back to business as usual. Rochelle Kufel has this. Monday marked the third and final official day of mourning in France. With barely a week to overcome the shock of Friday's attacks, millions of people went back to work, determined to return to life as normal. For Parisians like lawyer Sylvie Regnault, it was a somber commute. It's true that lots of stores were, were closed, but lots of stores were also open. Uh, actually, it was more the public and the public uh, offices which were closed. Uh, at lunchtime, uh, there were yeah, less people, but all the little shops were still open. I mean, it's not a Paris didn't become a ghost city despite the event. Foreign tourists don't have jobs to keep them here. Beer has got some thinking about ending their Parisian holiday early. There's only about 10 police officers there, isn't it? Someone comes here now, what are they going to do? It's only me. I don't feel safe anyway, me. That would be bad for France's economy. The Paris Convention and Visitors Bureau says tourist related revenue brought in around $44 billion in 2013. That's nearly 7.5% of France's GDP. Right now, the trend doesn't look too good. The Foo Fighters, U2 and other musicians have all cancelled events in Paris. The terrorism-themed film Made in France has also been postponed. Major tourist sites like the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre and Disneyland Paris closed following the attacks. The Eiffel Tower reopened on Monday and tourists trickled in. But Sylvie believes Paris and its businesses will shake it off. Even if I'm very shocked, I'm still positive uh, relating to the measures, sorry, that the government and the president, uh, they, that, that they are going to take in the following days. But contrary, like during the attack of uh, last January, um, it has been shown after that the economy was still um, not that bad. I mean, not impact so badly from, uh, from the attack of Charlie Hebdo. Paris rebounded quickly from last January's attack on Charlie Hebdo. Many Parisians say with confidence and defiance that their city will do so again. Rochelle Cufo, CCTV.